No. Is drinking soy milk truly more dangerous than drinking raw milk? Let's have a look at the science behind these claims. But before we do that, I would like to highlight a comment by Carnivore JT, in which he states that twice as many people in the United States drink raw milk than drink soy milk. This needs a little bit more context. So let's have a look at how many people in the United States drink raw milk and soy milk. He probably got the stats from this study right here. In this survey, around 4.4% of US adults consume raw milk at least once in the past year. Around 62% of the people that consume raw milk only consume it less than once per month. So how much soy do people actually drink on a regular basis that were surveyed? Around 2 or 1.5% of the Americans consume soy products. They determined whether you were a soy milk drinker or not if you taught the researchers that you were consuming soy milk less than once per week. The reason why I bring this up is, of course, the more you're exposed to something and the more frequent you consume something, the higher the risk probably gets. I would not expect a lot of foodborne illnesses outbreaks by consuming raw milk once per year. And places such as Singapore, China, Hong Kong and Japan drink lots and lots of soy milk. However, I could not found a single death related to soy milk consumption. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, I'm not saying it didn't happen, I'm just saying I could not find a single death related to soy milk consumption within these countries that drink a lot of soy milk. What about raw milk then? Is raw milk consumption safe? No. As a matter of fact, before pasteurization, milk-borne outbreaks constituted 25% of all disease outbreaks related to food and water in the United States. And today, after most milk products are being pasteurized, milk constitutes still less than 1% of reported outbreaks. And let's define pasteurization because a lot of people don't seem to know what it means. Pasteurization basically means that you're heating up the milk to a temperature of 71 degrees. That's 161 Fahrenheit for 15 seconds. And that's it. That's pasteurization. Despite frequent raw milk consumption being so rare, raw milk is still responsible for a lot of foodborne illness outbreaks. Just in the time period between 1993 and 2006, raw milk was involved in around 60% of the outbreaks and resulted in more than 200 hospitalizations and two deaths. From 2007 to 2012, the average number of outbreaks that were associated to raw milk consumption was four times higher during this six year period that's on average more than 13 outbreaks per year than the ones reported by previous outbreaks during 1993 and 2006, according to the CDC, the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention. Raw milk products cause 840 times more illnesses and 45 times more hospitalizations than pasteurized milk products. I know a lot of people will probably say, well, raw milk still has a lot of beneficial enzymes and raw milk is more nutritious than pasteurized milk. If you go back to the study that we just looked at before, the researchers answered these questions for us. In short, the researchers came to the conclusion that no significant changes in nutritional value of raw milk and pasteurized milk were found. The greatest loss in vitamins was for vitamin C, but raw milk doesn't contain a lot of vitamin C to begin with. And interestingly, since food companies add vitamin D to pasteurized milk products, pasteurized milk contains more vitamin D. Now, regarding the beneficial enzymes that raw milk contains, that's not really true as well. This claim is usually also extended and people will go on and further even state that raw milk is safe for people that are lactose intolerant. In order for us to break down lactose, we need an enzyme called beta-galactosidase. While it is true that, for example, yogurts contain beta-galactosidase, that's not the case for raw milk. The last thing I would like to state is that plants inherently do not contain these pathogens that can lead to foodborne illness. So it's either an hygiene issue or a cross-contamination issue, for example. I don't see any reasons why anyone would actually expose themselves to such a huge risk to consume raw milk. 
And if you want to continue to do so, by all means do. I'm not here to stop you, I'm just here to rely the information. But stating that raw milk consumption is safe is completely wrong. And yes, maybe you're one of those people that has been consuming raw milk for their entire life. But if you are using your platform and you speak to thousands, maybe even millions of people, you expose those people to unnecessary health risks. Please be safe out there and don't believe everything you see on social media. What are your thoughts about this topic? Feel free to let me know in the comments section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you during my next video.